Hello everyone, welcome again in our weekly Indent TV weekly vlog. Uh, today is a bit uh, a different layout, uh, you will see in a minute. Uh, so I'm working today on the sleeve we started in 2015 I'm guessing, because in 16 we've got the best of the day for the portraits on the inner bicep and I think we had this done beforehand isn't it, so, so that's, uh, that's like seven years now uh, so we're having the last session uh, which uh, is a, a winner of one of the winners of my raffle I've uh, done uh, in the first lockdown he won look one half day with me there was two half days and one full day uh, chosen like you know as I worked in the raffle uh, which was really nice and so that was a it was good help and thanks for your support and uh, so yeah fi finally we had a chance to <laughs> you, you've tried to like finish it since you know like 18 I think you know yeah. we, had, we had this session now yeah, in 18 and then you know we had a bit of break uh, break bef you know between that obviously from obvious reasons uh, so yeah it looks like we've uh, doing quite well we had uh, some hourglass and uh, we improvised the bottom like a breaking glass uh, the old sleeve it's kind of representing the passing time so we had the female at the top like young girl the oldish lady inside who's the school and the butterflies all together to represent the, the time and you know the passing life and new life to be born and then the, we have a hourglass inside now uh, breaking out so yeah that's that so uh, i did quite a few tattoos this week uh, Yesterday I did some portrait uh, of a slash that was quite cool, which was cover up. So that's gonna be on my Instagram today. Uh, no, it was my. It's uh, it's been on my Instagram since yesterday. So probably you might still be able to see it now uh, if you go to my Instagram. Uh, I've done another session on a good customer of mine, Michael. Uh, we did the biomechanical pieces and uh, this was a cool uh, piece as well because now he's got a device to, to measure his sugar levels actually attached to his biomechanical sleeve so that looks super cool and being functional as well they just make it next level so that's uh, it, it should be still on my story uh, since yesterday uh, so check out the story uh, I've been preparing a designs for customers from United States trip which is in the next two weeks uh, it's starting 14 for them to do two conventions Chicago and uh, Tampa which is Florida uh, so that's gonna be uh, we've got uh, already fully booked I've got four customers there uh, so that's uh, and they all gonna have biomechanical pieces uh, so check out for some updates I'll be posting some stories uh, with the progress of designing uh, lately as well I've been finalizing pieces for art exhibition which is starting next Monday at half past six in the evening we have the opening uh, event uh, so any of our, my regular customers if they want to pop in for some uh, glass of champagne or Prosecco or some wine just just pop in and have a look and the exhibitions will be held till April I think this is the fifth altogether, so the beginning of the April we're changing it uh, to different artists. Uh, so check this out. Uh, if you're in town around, just pop in and have a look on, on my pieces uh, in exhibition. Uh, there was quite a few uh, finalizing designs and finishing sleeves altogether. Uh, just check I was you know keep, keep checking the story uh, I've started the channel YouTube channel I'm gonna be posting some I have quite a few people asking me and uh, enjoying the little videos I do from like a time lapse from sketching and uh, so I will be posting them on YouTube channel Shamak Tattoo uh, so that's uh, link is gonna like it's gonna be updated in next next few days because that's gonna be related to the exhibition as well uh, we're planning to have a bit of interaction, interactive exhibition uh, going on as well. Uh, Chris uh, Strack and uh, 
uh, Adriana will be joined, like you've already joined our team, so they're getting booked now, and uh, which means we will have a PS uh, uh, on site, and uh, Adriana does m more female, like a patterns, outline design, so it's gonna uh, bring some new, new portfolio and uh, new range of tattoos, uh, and which we're very looking forward to. Uh, all together, that's uh, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, what else? We've we've planned quite a few conventions this year. Uh, every artist is uh, updating the, the uh, and posting which we will we'll be doing. So you know, if you would like some from me biomechanical piece and you don't live nearby, uh, just give us a shout. There might be convention nearby you. So and there's always a chance to get some work. Uh, your two pieces were done at a convention, is it? one Nottingham and one was uh, Cardiff as well. So, so I've got quite a few customers travelling and uh, to to meet up with me for the at the conventions. So there is an option, and the same with the other artists in the shop. You know, if you're not close by and you would like some piece done, just send us an email ingden.tattoo at gmail dot com. Uh, we might be able, or we might be somewhere nearby uh, doing some shows. So. Uh, it's always worth to try. Uh, I think I will pass you to Holly today. Uh, so thanks a lot for uh, checking out on our Ingden channel. And uh, yeah, I will see you next week. Hello. So a bit of a different setup today. Um, I'm tattooing, uh, but I'm tattooing David. So we're doing the other side of uh, his leg. We did um, a skull and a church on the other side. Um, like loads of greens and blues so we're doing basic well not the opposite but we're doing like blacks reds uh browns so it's a bit more of a of a gruesome tattoo but obviously i, I love that so i'm i'm in my element today uh, and it's the cover up as well so um it's a cover up that david got and then he went over when he was an apprentice um so then it's like doubly as difficult because <laughs> it's like it's it's not faded anymore, so um, but yeah, no, it's it's covering really really nicely, um, and David sits really nicely, so thank you. That's good. Um, so yeah, I'm nearly done with the black on the wolf, um, and then I'll be doing like his sort of nose area, and then probably moving on to this bit, and then we'll finish with the, the <laughs> with the horn parts. at the top. Well, actually, we could do the horn next if you wanted, but we're, we're having some lunch in a bit. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. Um, what have I done? Uh, Saturday I had um, a very long session. We stayed until, I want to say it was half eight. Uh, it feels like, well it felt like midnight when we'd both finished. Um, I was tattooing Heather. She had um, like a Chinese water dragon sort of like traveling up her arm. Um, that was like water. And then uh, within the water there was, um, Siamese fighting fish, um, each one a different colour to represent her three children. Um, so that was that was really good. I really enjoyed that. It was it was a long day and we were both very sore, but um, it's worth it. Um, yesterday, uh, what day is it today? Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday today. So yesterday I did another long day. Um, we did uh, another cover up actually. It was on. Um, uh, the back um, and Shamak was tattooing his wife so it was like a it was nice that we had both people in um, so yeah we did we did that that was a long session we finished at half seven so it wasn't too it wasn't as long as the other session but so long um, so yeah that, that's what I've been doing basically this week um, and that's all I've got to say really I'll, I'll pass it on to David if you <laughs> want to say anymore yeah um, all I'm going to say about his tattoos ow <laughs> no, it's going really nicely. It's looking absolutely awesome. I'm super happy with it so far. I had Charlotte in with me yesterday. She got four different like sentimental tattoos. Uh, the first one was a scorpion uh, to represent her Scorpio birth sign. Uh, she had some script from her granddad, uh, some little drawings that her, quite a few different members of her family have drawn. And she also got a little wine glass, which was a little bit of a private joke between her and her friend. That was a fun little pieces yesterday. Uh, so obviously today I'm not tattooing, I'm getting tattooed, but I'm also working on a few designs, don't know if you can see it from there, working on a few geeky-ish pieces based on some of my favourite villains, 
Uh, so this one is a Mysterio piece, but I'm also thinking of doing like Magneto, uh, Sinestro and a few others. If you have any particular villains or heroes that you'd like to see from any comic book, anime, anything like that, let me know, give us a comment. I'd love to see what you guys can think of. And uh, yeah, I've got a few fun pieces coming up this week, but off the top of my head I can't remember just because the tattoo's taking over, so <laughs> I'm kind of getting lost in fantasies right now. So um, yeah, I will call that a day, and we'll see you guys all next week. Yeah. Bye. Bye.